guys, uh, we're the Relapse Symphony. Uh, introduce yourselves, guys. I'm Alex Fox, I play guitar. I'm Brett Bondell. Brandon Kyle, I play bass. I'm Tyler Lloyd, and I play drums. I'm JC, I play guitar. We wanted to just take a few minutes uh, to share our, sto our stories with you as far as like bullying and being a victim of bullying. You know, like, um, <laughs> I was bullied ever since uh, elementary school. You know what I mean? Because the way I grew up, my father raised me on rock music. So I grew up in a very small town where, like, you know, the thing to do was to go to school, become a doctor or a farmer or whatever. Uh, so having a dream of like being a rock and roll musician was laughable to the public, you know. So I would go to school wearing like rock T-shirts because it's all I knew, you know. And like I was beat up. I remember riding the bus and having coins thrown at me, you know, and they'd hit me in the back of the head. So I, I've, I've definitely been there, like, and so have the rest of the band. I mean, if you guys want to share as well. Um, I got bullied a lot when I was born in elementary school. I got picked on a lot. Um, I wasn't tattooed and cool looking, I guess, but I was kind of like the chubby kid with braces when I was growing up. So I always got picked on, and I used to get uh, jumped a lot. That's, you know, multiple people attacking. So uh, I used to come home with bruises all the time, and I would lie about it, say I, you know, tripped or. Hit my face against the monkey bars. Kind of just didn't want to get anybody in trouble. But um, growing up was very rough, and it's just one of those things where I don't want anybody else to go through what I had to go through. So it's one of those terrible things that happens all the time. When I was in uh, ele ever since elementary school, I've got it because I've always looked like this, always. And uh, and I lived in a small town called uh, Slainsville, West Virginia, which I just moved back to. And uh, people don't believe me as much anymore. But I remember my first day of high school. My very first day, I was wearing a leather misfits jacket and tight black jeans. And uh, these kids came up to me. I heard faggot. And the next thing I knew, I was laying on the ground. My braces came through my lip. They pushed me into my locker. Um, and ever since, like, that was my high school. Like, it was pretty fun. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, same thing, just, I mean, ever since I was little, just always just being ridiculed for being different from everyone, and just ever since I was little and went to my first show, which was, I saw Def Leppard and Journey in, I think it was like fourth or fifth grade, and ever since then I wanted to play music so bad. I was there, dude. Yeah, you were at that show too. <laughs> and just, same thing, just everyone trying to fuck with you and trying to fight you, and just... The thing I love about doing this interview and everything is just stressing everyone just to stay strong and positive. We all know, like, we've all been through it and stuff, and just to stay positive and that you can get through it too. Yeah, um, I can definitely relate to everything all these guys said. Uh, I think one, ex like, one experience that sticks out most vividly to me would be, I remember back before wearing tight jeans was cool and everybody did it. I remember going to school with, like, some jeans I had ordered from England because that's the only place you can get like tight-fitting black jeans at that time. Um, I had a foot-tall purple mohawk and a casualty shirt and like a studded leather jacket I completely studded myself. And I remember uh, walking home from school that day, um, I had headphones in because I would like, that was like my defense mechanism. I'd go everywhere with like headphones in and listen to music because if I didn't, if I did that, I didn't hear them making fun of me. I was just like, fuck them, whatever. Um, and all of a sudden, I feel somebody push me and my neck goes back and my pops and I like, I probably should have gone to the doctor. It was just someone fucking with me because of the way I looked. Probably should have gone to the doctor. Didn't. And I had like severe neck pain for like two months after that. Something probably got messed up. I don't know. Hopefully it's fine. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, the one thing that I think every, whether you're, and you don't have to be a kid, I mean, this happens. We get it still. And that's the thing I think kids, yeah. not kids, but people really need to understand is it gets better, um, but you need to get, you need to get tough and get strong and know that all your life you're going to have people that are going to come into your life and they're going to tell you that you shouldn't do something that you want to do or that you're wrong for doing something and they're there to test you, they're there to make you a stronger person because there's something better that you're not yet ready for that you need to get tougher for down the line. This band, we get shit talked every day. Internet trolls, I mean, even, even like our hair AP I Magazine uh, featured something I wrote like two weeks ago and they we talked to AP and they, uh, they were like blown away because there was, we were so polarizing, there were so many people talking shit on the way we look that had never heard of us before, and then our fans were defending us. And it's like, we read these things, we still get them, and you just gotta know that everybody goes through it, and 
if you just stay strong and like you said, stay positive and know that it's their problem, not your problem. Anything they're saying about you, it's their fucking problem. So fuck them, ignore them. Go find some people that don't talk shit about what you want to do. Yeah, you don't need to be around Also, I mean, the thing to remember as well that I think everybody needs to understand is people judge you uh, based on their own insecurities. Um, you know, if somebody... Usually when somebody fucks with you for a pair of jeans you're wearing or your haircut or anything like that, it's usually because they're insecure knowing that they're not... They, they're not brave enough, and they don't like. They're they're too scared to um, exercise their freedom to look the way that they really want to. And they do, you know, they look normal because that's what their friends look like, and they don't want to be judged, you know. So Absolutely. you should really take pride in the fact that you're brave enough to not to want to be yourself. So I mean, that that's such a great thing in itself that I don't think knowing that I, I, nothing could make me feel nothing. That somebody could say to me could make me feel as bad just knowing that like I have that inside me, the bravery and like what it takes to get out there and just be who you are. You don't have to conform to be accepted. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those yeah. things where uh, I think how many people who pick on you are probably miserable with their own lives and have their yeah. own problems and a lot of their frustration whether it be at home or in school or shit's just fucked up in their life, their way of taking that aggression or insecurities out is on you. Yeah. And it's really unfair, but I mean, life's unfair sometimes. But you gotta keep going because eventually, those people will be out of your lives, even in school. Yeah, like, I mean, we get it because we're a band that's in the public eye. So, but I will say, I mean, once you get out of like high school, it it's so much easier. Like life gets so much better. Everybody is forced into high school. Nobody wants to be there. Everybody's insecure, finding out who they are and what they want to be. And I mean, it's a recipe for bullying and negative fucking energy because nobody wants to be there. Everybody's judging each other, and it's just this toxic environment. And I promise you, if you can just get through that, it gets so much better. Yeah, Life gets so much better after high school. <laughs> yeah. we, we met right after high school, and yeah. we actually kind of talked about like how we were bullied. And now, for some reason, like I mean, we go to bars, and it's like all those dudes, the same kind of people who made fun of us in high school, want to be our best friends. We went to a bar once and two people came up and were like, so stoked to see him. They're like, oh, there's your friends from high school. And he was like, no, man, they used to fucking beat the shit out of me in high school. And they wanted pictures with him, wanted his number, wanted to get tickets to a show. And it's like, I've gotten that a lot. Yeah, it's like, wow, funny how times change, you know? I was the fag, I was the weird kid, and now you're begging me for a ticket to a show. And yeah. you're doing your thing. It's like, yeah, I am. I was doing the same thing in high school. It's the yeah. lying people. Like, two, two of the best ways i found to deal with it is, uh, one, Find something that kind of takes your mind off it. Like with us, it's music. That's the best thing that, that makes me forget about it. And two, you're not alone with it. I mean, there's five of us right here, and there's millions more of, that are dealing with the same shit. You just gotta be better than that. Absolutely. Find the things that make you better than that. Yeah. And something that's always meant the world to me is growing up, getting through all that, you know, listening to music, helping me get through it, looking up to all these bands. And just nothing means more to me than everyday fans commenting on our page and telling us that our songs are getting, like helping them out, getting them for the day. And just, yeah, I can't dude. even stress about how much I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's, 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 we that's why point. we do this for. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, like we love like playing music. We love it. We're happy that our release is like your release as well. Yeah, yeah. And it helps us good. back because then if I'm having a fucked up day, I can go on Twitter and I can read some like, things fans are saying to us. And it's like, wow, they don't know it, but they're helping me, maybe even more so than we're helping them. Because if I'm going through something, and I go, all I have to do is go go to our fans, and all this positivity, it's like, you know what, like, life is good, you know? Yeah, yeah that's what we've always looked at as our fans, as a family, because all of us talk together, all of us just really support each other from what we're doing, from us to them, and them helping us out, and... Yes. Yeah. They defend us. Like when they see people talk shit, they jump in. And I would do the same. If I saw someone talking shit on a fan, I would speak up too. Like, exactly. Yeah. Like my little sister, she was actually recently bullied. She had gone to middle school. Uh, she wears skinny jeans just like I do. Like loves like all like the same bands I do. And she was getting picked on terribly. And I got mad. And I actually tweeted about it. And I guess some kids in her school actually followed me and saw my tweet and it like ended. But it, it's just sad that it gets to that point that yeah. just because you like something, you have to get picked on because you don't like it. Like, I mean, if you want to play football, I don't make fun of you playing football. That's, yeah, like, I mean, I don't think we ever waste our cares? time. I don't notice shit I don't like. Like, I, I, I think that's uh, that's the thing about high school is everyone's fixated on, like, what can I shit on? What can I talk shit about? Like, I don't think we ever, you know, I don't see shit I don't like. Because if I see something I don't like, I just go on. Yeah, but we don't like it. it. Yeah. Goodbye. Like, oh, you have a Metallica shirt or you have a, I don't know, a, a Nickelback shirt. I don't really listen to them. I'm not gonna be like, dude, stupid. I'm just gonna fucking keep going on. Yeah, yeah. 
my life. Oh, you're drinking a Diet Mountain Dew? Like, I'm yeah, like, like regular like, Mountain Dew. Like, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, it's so stupid that people have to Absolutely. be that ignorant. But. Yeah, so we just wanted to make this video to let you guys, I mean, our thing is, we're fucked up. You know, like, we're, we're, a big, we're a big family, you know what I mean? Like, you're fucked up, we're fucked up. If we can do something that helps and makes you just have an ounce of happiness for, you know, three minutes or however long, you know, a song is, you know, like, that's that that's all we want, you know? Oh, t-shirt, the real episode, we're fucked up. Yeah, we're, fu we're fucked up, you're fucked up, we love you, you know, we're here for you. Thank you guys for your support, and we're here for you just as much as you all for us. I hope so, this helped you. or gave some you know, insight.